it was one of the two hulls from the abyss. And John Bruno, when I got the job, I built this tank for the abyss. Uh, he, um, you know, he said, you know, we can get that well, one of the hulls from uh, the Benthic. It, it's out somewhere in um, Canyon Country or something, and uh, probably a couple of grand. You know, uh, what do you think about taking one of those hulls and? And I said, fine with me, John. You want to do that? That's a good start. Uh, I'll get it. So we got it. And then I had took all the measurements on the Vandenberg back in Chesapeake Bay. We pulled out a dry dock for, for to be the Volkov, the Russian research. And they took it over into a dry dock and painted it white and made it look like a Russian ship. So I took all the measurements and photographs and everything back there on that and came back here and, and realized I had to, that using the abyss thing, beginning with that, I had to add about two and a half feet to the fantail to, to match this curve because it had to chop it off, which we did. And then about another th three feet or something, three and a half feet to the bow to give it a sharp bow to match uh, because it was b very blunt bow on the, on the Benthic Explorer. So, is it, so a 42-foot model turned into a 46-and-a-half-foot model almost 47 feet and then its beam was kind of narrow and it was okay that's why I did this it ended up making it the same as the as the beam on the Vandenberg but it ended up being a scale that I would not have picked normally I mean it ended up being 11th scale <laughs> I mean but starting with that and it because the ship was so huge but also knowing that we were doing it in a storm and even though it was 11 scale, being 47 feet, feet long, that's a smaller scale than I would ever really choose to go in water. But seeing it's so big, and it's going to be storms, and you could put tons of waves to break up uh, drops, I mean wind for breaking up drops and all that. And when you get that big, you get enough individual action going on that it just starts to fool your your mind. I mean, if it was a six-foot model at 11 scale, forget it. You never could have gotten away with it. But 47, you know, it weighed something like 36 or 38,000 pounds when it was all ballast properly and everything and in our tank for that thing. I mean, it was enormous. So when it was reacting, it it had a scale. Once you get to a certain point, it's, you start to buy it. And, and so the stuff looks pretty good with it, even though the, uh, the tugboat sequence pulling the barge that open, opens the virus, the movie, that's six scale, because that I had to build off from scratch, so I did it six scale. And that look, that's really good. 